Um, just starting out on the injury front, uh, you know, Josh Metellus had a, a little shoulder um, pop up. He returned to the game. Hicks, Jordan Hicks as well. Um, unfortunate with Ole. Uh, cannot get into the details on, you know, it's just a, a, lo- a left leg injury. Uh, we're still evalu- evaluating him, but it does, uh, does not look good. Um, really, really unfortunate and um, disappointed for him. And we'll provide some more details when we get, a, get more information on that. Um, Christian Darisaw tried to go, uh, you know, kind of aggravated uh, that left ankle in warmups. We hope to try to have him. Um, and then uh, Davenport uh, tried to go as well. Commend those guys on a short week, both trying to go. Um, but he, uh, you know, had that right foot kind of giving him some issues. Um, I, th- I think Caleb had cramps in, in return. But uh, just across the board, um, you know, very much similar to uh, last week, which uh, turning the football over, coming to this place, uh, NFC champions from a year ago at their place in their home opener, and you lose a turnover battle four to one with three of them being t- f- uh, fumbles, uh, or all four of them being fumbles. Um, seven to one in turnovers lost in, in two games, and we've lost by a combined nine points to two uh, playoff teams from a year ago. Um, so clearly, I've got to coach it better from a standpoint of something we talk about every single day. Uh, ball security is a major, major focus in our football philosophy. Um, but clearly, um, I need to do a better job. And, and our staff, we've got to go back and continue to find ways to re-emphasize um, how important it is when you have the football in your hands um, playing for the Minnesota Vikings. Because, you know, like I said, we're, we're really not giving ourselves um, clean opportunities to win these games the way we've started. Um, and, and I've got to do a better job, and, and we've got to continue to emphasize it. Um, but there's a lot to, you know, a lot to be proud of from a standpoint of the guys. At the very rarely can you lose the turnover battle four to one and have a chance at an onside kick with a chance to win the game. But uh, clearly, um, you know, as much as they battled and defensively, you know, we we, you know, just put them on the field way too much, and uh, you know, we've got to find a way to. Right the ship from a ball security standpoint because that's a losing formula no matter how you look at it. How do you practice ball security? Like, how do you get that? Every single day we do some variation of uh, you know a ball security circuit, gauntlet drill, um, C2 split two, um, different variations of working the techniques and fundamentals um, that we try to apply when having the ball uh, in your hands. Uh, we're probably going to have to continue to emphasize. Uh, different ways of drilling, um, you know, what what comes up, uh, you know, Alex's was kind of really Alex's and Brandon's are, you know, that one that one comes up a lot when you're going to the ground, um, you know, finishing forward. And it's it's that it's that punch you can't see coming where you need to have, you know, maintain those five points of pressure and, and, and kind of all the way through the finish to the ground. And it's the hardest thing. And then Justin um, clearly very, you know, nobody's more torn up about that one than Justin. Um, but uh, we try to emphasize, you know, only reaching the ball out on fourth down. But he's a competitor, and he's playing a heck of a football game and making plays, and he's trying to do whatever he can to win because that's ultimately what he cares about the most. Um, but that was, incre- you know, incredibly unfortunate at the time, you know, and, and, and a, a very similar to last week, late in the two-minute uh, end of first half, a chance to have the lead going into halftime, and then before you know it, um, the game got away from us. Yeah. Did you have any conversation with the refs about whether that was? They they looked at they looked at that um, they looked at that and 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 they basically said it was possession and then clearly with the reach it counted kind of as the football move. Um, I don't think um, you know my hope was that it just you know wasn't over the pylon and I thought that until we saw that last angle. Um, from where I was standing, it did not look like it went over the pylon, but I think they were able to confirm that it did. Um, you know, I, I, I think uh, you know we just got to continue to emphasize decision making, technique, and fundamentals as far as the ball carriers go. But like I said, Justin's just trying to make a play in that moment, and the hardest thing to do uh, is to you know get a guy not to reach the ball out when they're that close to scoring a touchdown in a critical moment. Yeah, I thought they I thought they did a good job early on. They provide they gave Philly some different looks, um, played a different structure of defense to try to you know 
help in any way we could against the zone read and all the plays off of it. Um, they were just, you know, short fields and having to overcome. And eventually they were just, you know, putting too many tough spots. But uh, a couple times ball got thrown over our head. That's going to happen when you're trying to, you know, defend so many aspects of the run game and the pressure looks and all those things. But um, those were uh, big explosives down the field were, were, you know, hurt us because we were doing some good things early on. We wanted to make them have to drive it, um, wanted them to run it, you know, first, second, third, first, second, third, and see if we could possibly turn the football over. But, you know, with, that, with the turnover margin being what it was, they were just on the field too much. Yeah, yeah, we, uh, it was past the 90 minute and, uh, you know, we kind of went into it where he'd be a true game time decision and um, felt like with Questenberry and uh, Blake up, you know, hopefully we would be able to have really versatile guys behind um, those guys with Ole obviously willing to, you know, able to step in um, and, uh, you know, he just couldn't quite, uh, I don't know if there was an actual play in warm ups or, you know, something that happened, but um, the hope was he would be able to go and, and just, you know, couldn't make it. Especially it was a stretch where they were running the ball pretty good. I think it was like six yep. play drives, and you guys had a relatively small lineup in there. And yeah. The right. and sort of what's the, in your mind, what are you trying to accomplish with that type of, you know, whether it's one or two front linemen or whatever? Uh, what's the upside of having that in and, and stop the run? Yeah, schematically in that grouping, you know, it was really invited to get a lot of moves, try to get them to call some of those looks and get movement and have players responsible for the quarterback, for the dive, for the different elements of the RPO. Um, and really what it was, the hope was we could uh, try to limit the impact and, and potential explosives and try to make them drive the football and then change some groupings up and uh, use some different elements to you know try to just keep them off balance if we could. That drive was clearly one where they were able to execute over and over again. And um, you, know, not, you know, not having Marcus able to go uh, for a good chunk there, Davenport, and, and then ultimately just those guys just wearing down. Kev, we just left them on the field way too much. We had the ability to stay, sustain drives via the, a lot of the night via the play pass and you know, you know, winning some matchups in that secondary, but didn't run the football well enough. I knew it would be tough uh, being down some guys, but that's a really good front over there, and you don't want to have to play that style against them, especially when you're turning the football over. But the urgency started to pick up once we were down two scores. Do you think that's been a common theme from the running game, which you know, the, the camp of crime? That's not the, to me. To me, that's we've got to do a better job. We've got to do a better job coaching it. It's on me. You know, well, we've got to go back to work and find ways to run the football. Whatever personnel groupings we feel like give us an advantage. Um, it's it's just we've got to get more. Uh, connectedness up front. We've got to be able to attack, you know, certain fronts when when looks present themselves, and and just continue to hunt to be efficient because it's not a it's not a good formula, especially when you're putting the ball on the ground. But it's not a good formula to have to play um, like that when, as confident as I am in our pass game, um, it's just not going to sustain. Yeah, I thought just his decision making, his ability to see the field. I mean, there were some unique coverages to Justin going on out there, and he was able to, you know, assess and 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 use some of those play pass snaps to be aggressive with his arm when we could protect him a little bit. But even then, um, you know, a lot of times when you're not running it well, uh, those same play pass protections they mirror the run game in a lot of ways. And and he was standing in there, um, thought he was just tremendously tough. Uh, ran the you know those two minute drives to get us back into the game and at least give us a swing. Had an onside kick that didn't work out, but um, just really overall, uh, uh, you, for coming here playing the way he did under those circumstances, um, I do know this. Kirk Cousins played absolutely well enough for us to win the football game, and uh, I think there's a lot that he can pull out of it, and I know his teammates felt it as well. Yeah, he's. I mean, and and it's a great point because if the the coverages that he's seeing, uh, the amount of times he has. I mean, even on the, even on the throw where he does fumble at the pylon, that's him beating another double team and Kirk finding him. Um, some of the plays over the middle, he's fearless. And a lot of times when you're facing shell coverage, double teams, you're going to have to be willing to go into some traffic, over the middle. Um, his detail, his technique, his fundamentals, and then just his sheer competitiveness. Um, I think it's showing up a little bit with. Uh, guys like KJ and Jordan. Jordan with another big play on a third and long, kind of a la 
um, what happened in week one. Um, TJ showed up great tonight. Um, I just, I, I, I'm excited about, you know, what Justin has really become and his overall football understanding of how he's being defended. Um, I don't know if I've seen anything like it. Yeah, to me, the you know it's number it's number one on our football philosophy. Um, you know, we talk about it a lot. We have meetings about it, uh, weekly meetings. Uh, it's all about the ball. Is how we talk about it. And you know, to a man in that locker room right now, it is an easy thing to tell them after starting the season out how we have um, combined losing by nine points in two games, but losing almost having your scoring differential be the same as your turnover margin is not something that you ever want to. You know, preach as a positive, but if I do know that that locker room's confident, they I do know that uh, you get what you emphasize with them. So my anticipation is, if we make ball security the living, breathing way that we talk and walk about every everything in our building, uh, it will improve, and that's what my hope is, and that's on me um, and and our coaching staff to emphasize it minute to minute, hour to hour, how we practice, and ultimately uh, start seeing it show up on Sundays. I'll definitely, you know, we'll get with uh, we'll get with Quace and his staff, and and we'll, you know, I, I do I do believe we're going to be down. Uh, oh, we're going to be out. Uh, Early's going to be out for a while, um, which is incredibly unfortunate with the amount of reps that he had in training camp. Um, Garrett's, you know, progressing. Um, Austin stepped in there tonight, uh, and then hopefully Christian was close enough that maybe we can project we have him. But I think we're always looking at ways um, to to solidify not only. Uh, certain position groups, but our whole football team. If there's ways we can do that um, to competitively attack this thing, we'll take a look at it. But I do have a lot of confidence um, in our guys. Uh, but clearly, we've got to do something a little bit uh, differently and, and, and really focus on how to run the football better um, to help our pass game and, and, and how we're going about moving it. Last two. Yeah, we we uh, we asked a lot out of the players the last three four days coming off of a really physical game against Tampa, and then you know tonight was was physical as well. Uh, so we'll we'll let those guys uh, take a few days, make sure we get our recovery. We're not going to get back till very very uh, you know early this you know tomorrow morning. Uh, we'll let them get some time away uh, for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But as a coaching staff, we've got some work to do uh, to ultimately take a look at really an inventory of eight quarters where you know. How do we get better in all three phases? I think uh, you know there's a lot of areas where we can focus on as a staff uh, to play more complementary football, which we have not done up until this point. And I think uh, you know there's a lot of ways that we can uh, continue to build each other up. But you know my hope is that our team stays confident. We recognize exactly why we've lost some of these games and or both of these games, and and have a really focused, centered mindset uh, to fix those problems. Yeah, he's uh, you know, really both of his touchdowns now have kind of come on looks where, uh, you know, he's able to get behind the defense with his explosiveness. But then he's also catching, you know, some balls underneath. He's catching and running. Um, his versatility kind of pairing with JJ and KJ and TJ, and uh, you know Josh and some of the twelves. And um, I thought, uh, you know, he just continues to show up. He's growing every single time he steps on, steps on the grass in our offense. And I'm really proud of where he's at right now. But um, I think Jordan would be the first one to tell you hey, there's, there's things that he can improve on, um, just like everybody else on our team, coaches included. And it, it all starts with me. And we've got to uh, do that here over this next 10 days or so and uh, show up to U.S. Bank Stadium against the Chargers and try to get our first win. Thanks, guys.